afternoon viewers and welcome to the Otto Golden Stadium in Coover as we get set for the 2013-2014 TT Pro League season and if we could call it the two million dollar season and I have with me here Aaron Chandler. Aaron it's always a pleasure. Indeed George indeed it is good day viewers and it's as I said earlier it's nice to be here back again for another season opening of the TT Pro League, a lot of interesting um, things happening. Two new teams, Point Four the Civic Centre, Jablote, plus the two million dollar prize. Um, what are you expecting for the season? Well, George, with the, with that sort of money in line, first time in the history of Chanter Bagos Pro Football, you expect to see teams coming around, coming out and changing it up a lot in terms of players making transfers over the course of the season. Players who who really never graced Trinidad Tobago's fees in football in, in terms of outside players coming in because it's going to be really, really competitive in a really different way because the Pro League is taking, as we, as we can see, the Pro League is taking a new leaf in the sense that a lot of outside players, don't, none are figured in, these, in this game today, a lot of outside players are coming in and joining. And I think it's going to only bode well for us to see our, our local boys raise the level to compete against the players that are coming in against them. I'll take that, George. That's no problem, man. You can see Central FC, and there's they say new uniforms, white pants, black tops, black and white tops. Are actually, white socks. Defense force, blue pants, blue tops, and black socks. You see, still very early in this one, however, as we see that seem to be possible infringement. Or referee says play on ball coming inside. This is going to be an interesting one, and this is the first goal of the season. John Michael Williams going the wrong way, heading into the back of the net there, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. In the seventh minute of the game. Kerry Joseph, one goal, four defense force, one goal to nil. John Michael Williams not being able to hold on to a ball before he saw one get past him in the net. And not the very best start for Central FC after the defense force absorbed some, some pressure for a bit. A tussle here between Ross Russell Jr. And Makana Rasoso Jr. winning the ball in the infringement there. Defense force looking to get in the attack on the wing here. Looking to swing this one inside. Not being able to do so because of a good defense, good timely header there. Makano looking inside. This could be interesting. This could be interesting. Oh, not being able to, but it is a follow up opportunity. Very good goalkeeping there by Graham. Trying to get on that first one was good, which not being able to do so. Follow up opportunity there by Jack. Looking inside, finding Kintero. Kintero taking a shot, coming off the, the arms of Graham there again. No one to follow up on that one. So Central FC now getting more opportunities, getting more shots on goal. Graham doing some tough work in the back there. And that pass by Oliver going out of touch. I don't see why Oliver has his hands up in the air. It was a poor pass. Well, Aaron, I think since after the, that goal, uh, Iran, and it's an opportunity here, what's going to happen? And it's a very good effort there by that's the that's number Winchester. 17. That's Winchester. See, what, I, what I'm saying is, uh, Iran, since after the goal has scored, um, it, it, it's been an uh, even uh, game thus far. Indeed. Get it on here. Opportunity again for Central FC and a handle, a handle ball and in the area. And it's a penalty. So, and as I said, as I was saying earlier, is just a one goal separation here and. Uh, Anything can happen, and Central FC, a uh, good opportunity here. Makano here. Penalty, let's see what Graham can do. Wrong direction, goal. Goal number one for Central FC, so. In the 28th minute here for Central, they equalize on a penalty taken as a result of a handleball in the area, so. It's one goal apiece on George. You can hear some of those ones that we saw coming into the stadium just a while ago. Looking at Fila. This is going to be an offside and a very good save by John Michael nonetheless. Nevertheless, um, when the flag was up early, then, then there were quite a lot of rain. Eh? So, um, and that's the end of the first half. And uh, the first half has ended with. Both teams are uh, locked at one goal apiece. The first goal is called by Kerry, by Akil. Uh, Kerry Joseph, actually, number six in the seventh minute. And uh, Jason Makano 
equalizing from the penalty area, penalty spot actually. Um, your take on the first half? I think it was a very evenly matched first half. Even though defense force absorbed more of the pressure to start the game, they came away with the first goal. But some 20 minutes later, winning an opportunity for his team was captain Jason Mokano, and he stood to the spot, put it away. And as a result, we see this one goal a piece game. And the scoreline is very indicative of the play, George. It's a very even game, that's fine, in my opinion. Welcome back, viewers. Welcome back to the Artaboland Stadium as we resume the second half action here in this match, the first match of the 2013 2014 Pro League season between the current Champions Defense Force and Central FC. And Cross coming inside. Not being able to get into control of that one, but it's still going into uh, a good very save. good shot there. Uh, and a a better equal, shot. A equally good save there, uh, Iran. Indeed, George. Elton John taking that shot there. First real opportunity of the game for John. Found it nice off his boot, but. Yeah. Off across, not being able to do anything with that one. It's going to be going back with Central FC now. Here's Makano on the counter attack, trying to get this one inside. This is a nice little pass. This is a nice little opportunity for Cantero. Cantero in plenty of minds and he scores! Goal for Cantero. He was in two or three minds there, but in the end of it, he scored, putting the ball in the back of the net. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is two goals to one Central FC with a Call of Duty style celebration there. Letting him have his well, way. And a very, very good interception there by Rivers. Corey Rivers doing a very good job on getting between that one. But coming off the referee and a very good shot there by Makano. Straight in the arms of Graham, however. Upfield now. Headed straight to the boot there of Makano. Makano is going to be staying with it. He's trying to get it inside. Good defending. Very good defending, I must say, by a defense for us. After giving that one back to him. Very good defending on their part, however. It's going to be a corner in favor of Central FC. Not, sorry, it wasn't Intero who was supposed to come up the field there. You see, up here now. Nice little pass looking for... Yeah, that could be so interesting. This is a bicycle shot, and it's in the back of the goal! It's for the first time in quite some time I've seen a bicycle score, and a bicycle out of nothing. That's a very, very, very good goal there. And you see the supporters going up here. And in the back of the net, finding that one, Rondell Winchester, ladies and gentlemen. They are not being able to roll that one. I really didn't see an opportunity there for Winchester to score. But he was able to, taking off his jersey in that one. It must be the first bicycle he scored to be in the Pro League. Two goals now ahead now is Central FC. Three goals to one. Congratulations, this one. Defense force would not be highly, not be expected to come back with and score two. To get a draw in this one. Three of things have happened, however, as we see. Gonzalez about to take a shot here. No, he's not. He's looking to find Carter. Not being able to find him either. Opportunity here for R R Roy. And it's going to be saved there by 